Hello and welcome to our fourth video tutorial called Entities. In this tutorial we'll explain and demonstrate the basic entities which you could use in your map. Let's start with the first entity, the most important one called Info Player Start. We've already covered this in the last video tutorial. It's relevant to put it on your map to get the spawn point for your players on the map. You need to know that you will have different entities for Counter-Strike Source to let counter-terrorists and terrorists spawn on your map. They are called Info Player Terrorist and Info Player Counter Terrorist. Choose the relevant spawn entities you need and place them on your map. You should pay attention that you don't copy and paste these spawn points. This could lead to problems after compiling your map. The next important entity is the light. With this one you can add light sources on your map so that you can lighten up rooms and add some nice lighting effects. Place the entity somewhere on your map and open up the properties with a double click on the bulb. Now you have many options you can set up. Use the brightness to change the color of your lights. But you need to think about if you want to change the color into red, green or other colors. Maybe you don't need it for your ambient, so you can leave it as white. With appearance you can set up the light source with some effects. Maybe it should be normal or flicker or pulsed. Just experiment with these settings and take a look in-game. More about the light entity and how to change the appearance of your lights you'll learn in the next video tutorial about lights. The next important entity for your outer level is light environment. This is to approximate the light cast from the sun on your heaven. As you have learned, you can open up the properties with a double click on the entity and set up many things. Let's begin above. Pitch, your and roll is the angular orientation of the sunlight. Use the point at to choose a certain place on your map where the sunlight should be. The function pitch is almost the same function. Here you can control the sunlight with a different angle between 0 and 90. 0 is horizontal and 90 vertical. Adjustments below 0 adopt a diffuse light with a recognizable source and will minimize the shadow cast on objects and players. Brightness will change the color of the light, like on the light entity. With pick color you can choose a color, for example, green, blue, red, yellow. With ambient you can manipulate the color or rather the entire brightness and the intensity of the shadows. The best thing is to leave everything the way it is, but if you want you can play a little bit with the settings. Maybe it will be useful information that the fourth local value is to brighten your map up with a lower shadow cast. Now you just need some entities to make your map more interesting with perhaps some objects. There are four different types you can choose. The first entity is prop detail. This is useful to describe detail models you don't need to see from all quarters of your map. Choose this entity and place it on your map. It will appear in a little red box in the position that you have selected. With a double click you will open up the properties. You will just have world model. Click on browse and the model browser will pop up. Here you can choose many different models that you can place on your map. In this example we will use gibbs hgibbs.mdl. Click on OK and apply and a skull should lie in the position. But there are more prop entities you can or should use. You could not use every model with prop detail on your map because it could be that it won't appear on the map. So we should go to the next entity, namely prop dynamic. This entity is for dynamic models that could contain animations. On damaging, you can maybe destroy the model but you have to set this up in the properties. If the model you want to use is a physical model, it could be that the model is deleted 
by starting the map. When you use this entity, a red box will appear as well on your map. Use the double click to open the properties window. Here you can set up many things as before. But we don't need the most of them now, so we will explain the basic settings. With a click on World Model and Browse, you will open the model browser like before, and now the next step, down on the right side, there are five tabs named Render, Sequences, Activities, Skins and Info. Click on Info if you've chosen a model to discover if you can use this model with Prop Dynamic. If a hook is shown on the dynamic box, it is usable for this entity. If not, it might not appear on your map. For this example, we'll use the model props-c17-chair-cleaner03a.mdl. We don't really have to explain more about this entity, but if you want to learn more about the other settings that you can change, you can check out our website for a more detailed list in our tutorial section. Now the third prop entity called Prop Physics. If you use a model with this entity, the physics engine will impact it. That means that this model can interact with the whole world. If you have played Half-Life 2, you have already seen models that are used with Prop Physics. These are objects that you can move or pick up. To set this entity up, it is the same thing as before. Choose a place on your map, open the properties with a double click and choose a model. But you need to know that not every model is able to be used with prop physics. This is because not every model is compiled for this. If it is not, use prop physics override which overwrites all values of compiled models. The fourth and last entity is PropStatic. Models that will be used with this entity are not able to be moved or animated. That means that they don't have any physical properties. It is usable for lights, boxes or different objects that should not move. Here you have to choose a model in the model browser and place it somewhere on your map. There is no actual model you can't use with this entity. There are certainly many more entities we could explain to you, but we'll leave it for now so that you can experiment with these entities. We wish you a lot of luck and lots of fun with trying the topics covered here. But don't worry, in the next coming video tutorials we will explain more new entities and show you exactly how they work. If you are interested in functions that we haven't already explained, you could find them in our video tutorials section. For information, tutorials and more visit our website at lambdarising.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep informed. Thank you for watching and see you next time.